Hello everyone, it's good to see you back. If you're looking for the best and fastest way to get gold, shards and additional consumables, then this quick guide will be able to help you. This is a re-release of an upload I did a few days back as I did have an error in it and not a lot of people like that, so I do apologise for that mistake. So, these are the four areas you can do this in, which is Anticipated Ambush, Fortress Outskirts, Abandoned Refinery, and Void Intercept Missions. Anticipated Ambush, which is on sterile lands on the bottom left of the map. This mission will take you only 30 seconds to do and is probably the fastest one to accumulate gold shards within a few hours being there. Although it won't drop high value target bounties for more gold, it will drop high level mods and gear pieces which can be used for additional purposes such as building into another character or combining them for something better. It can also drop code breakers, this is also another way of getting shards and a high amount of materials via the vaults. So the more you do this, the more gold, mods and shards you'll get afterwards. The second option is to do Fortress Outskirts, which is located on White Knight Gulch, shipment base on the top right of the map, and should be the very first normal mission you see near your camp. Although it says it will take 15 minutes or less to do, you can actually do this in about 2-4 to four minutes instead, depending on the character you have. If you have someone like Bunny around, you can easily do this within 2 minutes as long as you have a good amount of health and defense to back you up. This mission has a 10 minute timer where you need to capture key points, but what makes this really worth the investment is how the enemies don't stop spawning until the objective is complete or if you fail. You can farm this one area for as long as you like and the amount of gold, shards, XP and monster drop does make this an effective way of method for the majority of endgame players. As shown, I got about 152k and 8k shards within 4 minutes, which all add up the longer this goes on. Also, this will drop advanced neural circuit materials which are highly needed for the catalyst, so that's another reason to keep this in mind. The third option is to do Abandoned Refinery, which is located in Echo Swamp, Abandoned Zone, and the first battleful mission near the camp. If you have Valby, Bunny, or any character that's good with clearing up mobs quickly, then this 30 second mission is going to be perfect for those who have time to kill. One mission got me about 47k gold and only around 1600 shards, which is small, but it does add up after you have been running this for around 30 minutes to an hour. You also get mods, XP, material pieces and code breakers, which are a bonus worth doing. This is honestly perfect for everyone and I don't see much downside to it. Lastly, and this is an easy one, do avoid intercepts. This is quite honestly the most easiest method to get shards, gold and mods within a few minutes, give or take. Do an executioner on hard, which I find is the most easiest and fast one to do, can find me about 32k gold and 2.5 to 3k shards within 5 minutes. This can be shorter depending on the player's build, as most builds can easily nuke bosses within a minute. At the same time, any material pads you have will allow you to farm whatever piece you need, which is also good. It can drop crystallization catalysts and energy activator blueprints, which are always on demand. Reactors and external components, which drop very highly. And you can also get a transcendence mod to drop, which can be used for more build crafting down the line. Of course, all this information is old for most players, as most players are fully aware of these locations. But it is a nice reminder to those who are new to the game and are struggling with knowing where best to farm. So hopefully, this should help. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the guide. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below, while if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos then leave a like and a sub while you're here. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.